July 11th, 2004. It's exactly 19 years now as the time of making this video. In this video, I'm going to tell you exactly what happened, how it happened, where it happened, and I'm also going to tell you who did what happened and the victim of what happened. So if you are new here in this channel or you've been watching and you've not subscribed, please you do well to make sure you subscribe to this channel, Joe Media TV. And uh, for our returning viewers, I want to say a very big thank you to you for following up from day one to now. Without further ado, let's deep dive into the video itself. It was around 6 a.m. on Sunday, July 11, 2004, when the men of Nigerian army invaded Obudubudu and its communities in the Gbema Kingdom, all in Worry North local government area of Delta State. That fateful Sunday morning, the soldiers came in with different types of gunboats, a warship, and sophisticated weapon and started shooting the innocent and defenseless villagers of Asatwagbane community. As if that was not enough, before one can really guess what was happening, the soldiers have already set the Asatwagbane community ablaze. Although the defenseless villagers have already fled to the mangrove forest for safety, in the meanwhile, some of the parents have already left their kids unconsciously and run into the swamp for the fear of being possibly killed by the soldiers. The operation lasted for several hours. And finally, the soldiers later left the community at around 3 p.m. after they have accomplished their mission by totally destroying and demolishing everything in the community. And after a couple of minutes, some of the defenseless villagers who have fled into the Magro forest for safety summoned the courage to return back to the community and discovered that the entire community has been totally burned down by the Nigeria soldiers. At that moment, you need to see the pains and agony on the faces of the innocent, defenseless and peace-loving citizens of Obudubudu as they lament and cry over their losses. I need not to tell you that properties what billions of Naira has been destroyed totally just in a twinkle of an eye. These are the exact words of some of the villagers as they cried out. We have become refugees in our own mother's land. What have we done to deserve this gross injustice from her government? Why others said, Oh God, why? Where do we go from here? And where do I start? How cruel and unfair can a government be to hit citizens? This is the height of injustice for a government to take the life of its citizens and destroy properties worth billions of naira. Do you know that as the military invasion and demolition process is going on in Asatwagbane community, they also invaded and completely burned down Obudu Menka, Itagbane community, Sunny Zero Zion, all in the Bema Kingdom, worry not local government area of Delta State. They even used military helicopter to attack the Obudu Menka leaving an innocent infant baby there during the process of running for safety. What a world. What exactly can a people 
due to the government to deserve this kind of ill treatment? And how many communities in the northern part of Nigeria where insurgency and killing took place every day and night have they employed military shopper to attack and burn down communities totally in search of some criminal elements? The big question is, are we still one Nigeria? Are we still one Nigeria? And if we are still one Nigeria, are we treating ourselves equally? Are we treating ourselves equally? Do Nigeria know that the Niger Delta is the, the heart of Nigeria that feeds Nigeria? And mind you, let me tell you, the Ogudugudu community, Asatwagun community, Itagbani community, and Sunny Zero Zion, are not the holy Niger Delta communities that the federal government have destroyed before now. They are countless. We cannot start a mission, all of them. But if I'll tell you, are we going to talk about the Ogoniland invasion? Are we going to ta talk about the Kayama invasion? Are we going to talk about the Baramatu kingdom? Are we going to talk about Odi? Are we going to talk about uh, Ayakromo? And many others. It's been 19 years now since Ogudugudu and its communities were born down, totally destroyed by the federal government of Nigeria. And no one is saying anything about it. And no one is talking about it. It's been 19 years now. We are still washing.